Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Card Crawl. I've been playing this uh, game for about, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. I've uh, beaten a few games. It's a pretty fun game. It's it's very casual. Um, I don't say that as a dirty word. It's it's a very breezy game that you can pick up in a matter of minutes and, and probably win a few games. I am, there's a few things I really appreciate about that specifically, but we'll get into it. This game has a um, successor coming up called Card Crawl Adventures, which um, I've been provided with a key for, so I'll be covering that as well. Um, but let's, let's jump into it. All right. So uh, we've got our adventure. This is the starter starter adventure. I haven't really gotten uh, any of the the new um, the uh, other follow up characters yet. There's a few of them, and there's also a lot of unlockables. Um, so yes, there is a meta progression, but I have not actually found that it is necessary at all. It's just a means of unlocking replayability, which I generally really appreciate, um, and I do appreciate it in this as well so what are we doing we've got uh four cards uh on the top row here we have to eliminate three of them we can do so in a, uh, a number of different ways if they're potions or coins or equipment we can just acquire them um, but if they're enemies then we have to fight them we have 13 health here and um, if we fight the the uh the enemies directly then we'll be taking you know damage equal to their health and it is their health. There's a, it's kind of a vague number. It's not like equal to their attack, but it's also their health as well. So we kind of have to uh, like reduce that number if we can in order to survive. The um, best strategy I've found when playing this game is to actually keep our health um, kind of low on purpose because that means we can take the biggest advantage of a lot of the rewards that are going to come up and we'll uh, kind of get to that in a in a minute so um first thing we're probably going to want to do is uh, acquire these coins and when you pick up um money it does go straight to your um your bank and your that's your high score you're, you know we, we've got 10 points basically uh and money is also used to buy some of the unlockables between rounds but you might notice that this chest is still here chest doesn't go away until we finish this round um and that's kind of a problem because it's going to be taking up inventory space. I could take uh, put this potion over there instead of the coins, but now that's that's locked for us. And that's the that's the one space we can put things on where it won't use them automatically. If I was to put this potion in one of our hands here, it'll get used up and we would actually waste it completely. One of the reasons I say um, it's good to keep your health low is because um, that way we can take full advantage of potions. I think that the, the best winning strategy in this game is to basically make the absolute most of like everything and not just like things like equipment and potions, but also the enemies, like their attack can be used to your benefit as well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and kill this soul eater. It's a good thing we're getting rid of this guy very early because there's only a, a few of those in the deck. We're, we're gonna be going through 50 cards here and uh, there's only so many monsters, there's only so many ability cards, which we'll get to in a second in potion and coin cards. So getting rid of one of the uh, the really tough enemies right away is, is actually very good. Um, I, and I find like if we can leave a creature on the board or something on the board that I know that I can take care of on the next turn, then that's like a really good strategy. I'm getting very ahead of myself here, but um, I'm, I'm just kind of talking some of the... There is actually kind of a, an advanced like, um, you know, a strategy for this game. It's it's very breezy, but you can, uh, you can actually pick up some... Uh, more more compelling or advanced strategy in this one. So uh, this is our shield. We can't use this to reduce um, the damage necessarily. Like we can't use it to kill a creature without taking damage, but we can use it to, I guess, reduce the incoming damage. Um, now you would think, you would think that what we would want to do is use this to nullify this crow right away. But like I said, it's good to keep something on the board that I know I can defeat, so I'd rather defeat the spider. Um, and if I do that, I know I'll have one health left. And that's what I mean. Like keeping your health like super low like that is actually, um, it can be a good idea. I'm actually going to get rid of this potion right away because if I put it in my inventory, it'll clear the board and then I'll be stuck with it in the next turn. And if there's something better on the, on the field, then I'll want to use it. So we want to use this potion. Okay, so we've got a sword. Um, it only does two damage. Uh, but we also have a potion eyes on the field now currently 
we uh, we could actually clear this board we could use the sword to do two damage to the crow then it would only do one damage and then we be able to take that we'd left be left with two um two health left but i think a better idea is what we could do is we could take this potion eyes and use it to convert this this potion is an ability um specific to this character and what we can do is we can transform an item card into a random potion card so what we could do is we can transform the sword and it is very unlikely for the potion the or sorry the sword to be turned into a, like a low potion so we end up turning it into a fairly high potion we can use that and then we can defeat the slime and keep that crow on the board so i have like um kind of a safety net um all right so here's where things get a little dicey huh i actually think i'm gonna die here no there's a there's one saving grace here what we can do is um as long as i haven't taken anything off the board i can actually re-roll the board but that takes five health so it's a bit dicey doing that because now we have one health left but i'm pretty sure i can clear this board so that's good we're going to take these coins and i will take the shield um we'll use this to kill the incubus completely now there are there are arguments to be made here that this is actually not a great move um the reason being is that if there's um if the if the shield completely covers the damage on the incubus then it, that means it's actually only going to reduce the shield it's not going to get rid of it um so in this case the incubus was would leave the shield with only one health left one one thing left which is really really unhelpful um and and then we're going to be stuck with that shield because we can't really discard it we can't discard it at all so in a, there is an argument to be made here that actually doing the fire lamb would be better because then we would at least have a shield with three left instead of a shield with one left but i don't know it's probably like six one half a dozen the other at least this way we get rid of a higher uh, value card uh so killing blow is one of our abilities and it's a really good one um if you can make it work i've often often found that me trying to make this killing blow work um hurts me in the long run this is redoom redo uh redoom remove a damaged dungeon card meaning like if we can do like one damage to a creature on the field we can use this to then um get rid of them completely which is great but um you know you have to have uh, a damaging card and if you want to really like get the most out of this you're going to hope that oh we want a low damaging card because we want to use our high damaging cards on the high value creatures and so i end up kind of uh, painting myself in a corner with this card a little bit um, we are definitely going to have to make use of this potion there's no question about that and we can't survive the spider so we'll have to do the fire lamb we have a this is actually one of the riskier plays i've done on on in this game um so we have a potion and we have a coin these are both good uh and actually that potion is great because it brings us up to our full health without being a waste so that's what i kind of mean by making the most of all of your cards if we were at full health or if we were higher high health um, and we needed to use that potion. It would be like kind of a complete waste now um, Not really keen on what's on the field right now, but I'm gonna try and get I'm gonna get rid of this spider and we'll uh, take that coin card So there's our sword. This is what I mean by like, you know, the, these you want to use these high value weapon cards on high value creatures um, so that sword being on the field i mean it's great and all but we can't really use it in combo with the killing blow and we could but it would feel like a, a complete waste we're gonna get rid of this plague because it's an easy kill uh and then i'm gonna take this potion and that'll give us enough that we can take uh tank that goblin without dying so now um yeah this is uh this is this is i don't know you know it, it is what it is I don't know if there's anything we can do there now this sacrifice in comp uh, in tandem with the fact that we're low health is great this is an, another ability card and it attacks a monster card for the amount of the player's life missing so obviously this is going to be an instant kill on the troll nice thing about weapons by the way is that they are removed when you use them um 
sometimes shields are left behind uh, potions are left behind for the turn and coins are left behind so these are a nice thing to keep on the board because you know you can get rid of them fairly easily now here's that sword this is this is like kind of the ideal sword for using with killing blow um unfortunately i don't see any way of getting rid of it we could sell our sword that would be really really silly wouldn't it but um i don't know i'm thinking about it i am thinking about it honestly you know what i am thinking about right now is what we do is um we use the sword we take the potion and then we can take get rid of that shield and then we are left with just good stuff on the board and then we can make the most of that sword so that's actually not a bad combo right there um we can take this incubus without worrying about it now what i am slightly concerned about is uh i'm pretty sure yeah these, these coins are gonna stay on on the in my hand once i use them uh this isn't this isn't super ideal this, this, see the problem is, is that these coins are going to stay in my hand once i use them the potion as well like you know we could make the most of the potion and i probably should but i definitely want to get as much money as i possibly can we can there's one more mechanic here is we can actually sell the sword we can put that throw that in the shop and that'll sell it for a gen it's, its general value so we'd get seven coins from it um but that's a that's a pretty good card to keep on the field for the sake of survival so i'm not sure if that's what we want to do honestly i'm thinking what we should do is take the sword kill the incubus it's not we're not getting the full value of the sword but close enough and then we'll go ahead and uh take the coin what is this exchange i've never seen this one before move a dungeon card back into the deck and replace it with one of your ability cards interesting I haven't seen that one before. Um, we've got another sword. I think we might actually sell this. You can't sell ability cards. They just disappear, um, which is not ideal. So we're going to go ahead and sell that sword. I know it's it's a little bit risky. I don't like selling the swords if I can avoid it. Um, and actually, we're going to sell this potion as well. Keep the 10 potion on the field. Okay, so... We're really not making the most out of our cards. I think what I want to do, is this any card? Move a dungeon card back into the deck and replace it with one of your ability cards. Uh, this exchange is really good when there's something on the field that can kill you. We're going to just like tank the slime. And I think I might actually discard this. I know that's absolutely bonkers, but... Oh, can we not? I guess we can't. Hmm... I think we're gonna like I really just want to like make the most of things right now uh, We'll go ahead and use this on the shield. I would love to have sol sold that shield This is something new again attack between one and three monster cards for three Interesting um, hmm. We're gonna take the coin and I really want to keep that potion on the field You know what we should have just used the potion except then it would have stayed in our inventory I'm gonna sell that leash it's just a discard. I was hoping we'd get at least three for it, but no. Um, yeah, and I'm still trying to make the most of these swords. And this is what I mean by these, this combo here can kind of paint me in a corner. But we're going to take that potion. We're going to take the fire lamb. Um, I really don't want to sell the sword. So uh, we're at 11 cards. This could easily turn into a, a loss but i'm very tempted to sell the potion if i sell the coins it's just a donation it's just a donation uh ugh, ugh. i hate this position because like if i sell that potion and then lose this game then that's just like the worst feeling uh ever um what do we do I think the correct move is honestly to sell the swords and then take the potion or take the coins. I don't like that, but it is the safer... Oh, wait, we can't do that. We actually can't sell the swords once they're in our hand. I did not know that. Oops. Um, so that means we either have to discard the coins or sell the potion. Do we risk it all for the money? Sure. I hate it. I hate it, but... Okay, it, it actually worked out well. So we're going to take the coins. Um, well, okay, first let's use the sword and this killing blow. 
So we finally get to use that combo. Then we're going to hold the shield and um i'll take the coins i think it's better to take the coins because that remember they need a they need a like an end of turn in order to like disappear so it'd be better to do that now we have a nine here we can take that nine pretty well um i'm thinking though if we use the sword it would be a five and then we could take use the shield and that's what i mean by using the most of our stuff rather than using the shield this is six shield is good for further protection but if we can use the bad cards on the field to our advantage then um it's it's better overall okay so um we can actually tank this goblin there's only two cards left on the field um so i think we want to do that i'm just yeah, we can't take on the goblin and the crow. We definitely want to take this money right now. So we're going to take on the goblin. Really playing it close to the wire here. We could actually lose this if I'm not careful. Uh, is this a loss? I think it actually is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. It is actually down to the very last health a loss. Oh, no. If only that counted as a draw. This guy's very happy because he, he beat me. Oh, that feels bad. All right, let's do... We'll do one more. And then I'll show you some of the unlockables and maybe some of the replayability in this game. But I'm very interested to see what uh, what maybe what they've done. By the way, this game is $3. So if you're thinking like, well, this you know this is really simplistic. Um, you're, you're not wrong, but I think that this is a great little coffee break game. I'm, I'm honestly in a huge favor of like little um i'd say roguelite games that can be beaten in like 10 minutes and this can like i'm explaining things and it still took me like only 15 minutes to get through a session um so i i i really like this game for that um but like when you're playing like i can i can play it very loosey-goosey and get through a session in in like 10 sometimes five minutes if i'm playing really quickly and i i really actually really uh, appreciate that about it and it does have some pretty good replayability is it like the mo the deepest game ever no but like i don't want it to be necessarily i don't think that necessarily every single game is one that i have to painstakingly like figure out and and puzzle through um so what we're gonna do what i'd like to do is kill the slime we have that leech i want to use that leech to the best of my ability um i hate that that's that shield is still gonna be here uh yeah like this is exactly the position you don't want to be in honestly because now we have the shield and we can't really get used get rid of it so the best i can hope for is to get rid of uh you kill this fire lamb on this shield except then this shield is gonna be at two and that's just not, you know bad for business so i think what we'll do uh i think i'm gonna end up selling a sword and i'm gonna use this leech i can't use the leech oh god oh it's awful all right this is this is actually the worst I have to sell both both swords. I, I mean, I'd love to keep one of them, but I I think that the, I've boned this a little bit. I think that this is a loss. I've I've put myself in an unwinnable situation. All right, let's. You know what? Let's just go. I, I want to do an actual proper game here. Having to uh, like a both two like worthless shields in both hands and also at low health you just like you can't really win that situation you're just going to keep wasting your, your time um which is why i tend to tank things rather than uh using the shield you want to use the shield up like you don't ever want to kill a crow or something like have the shield left over that's why it's great to like use up a crappy shield on killing a an enemy like that or better yet you know what sure use up the shield completely on killing a, an enemy like that that's a, a better situation now this is bash use an equipped shield as a weapon each with each attack the shield loses one durability oh that's interesting huh i like that 
Um, well, we'll end up taking that for sure. I'll use this potion and I'll keep the bash. And I'm keeping this potion on the field for a little bit of survivability. I don't have a shield right now. We're just going to tank this guy. Um, not a huge fan of this situation, to be honest. So we'll equip the bash. That's probably a really dumb thing to do. But I'd rather equip it than waste a potion. Um, hmm. 10 health. There's not really much I can do here. I'm gonna have to use this potion. I mean, it's not not the end of the world. We're still alive. Okay. Uh, this kind of sucks, actually. I don't know what I can do here. We can use the ba I guess we use the bash. That really sucks. See, that's... I never... I don't want to be in situations like that where I'm, like, wasting cards like that. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to kill or do four damage and then we can take that last two damage. Then we'll take the potion and we should be able to kill the troll on the next turn. This is a really good ability that basically rerolls the floor. Um, definitely going to take this coin and I'll tank the troll and I'll keep the vanish. I've been finding myself in fairly tricky situations. It's usually not this... Um, Trebulus. All right, we're gonna tank the fire bomb. I you really usually like to keep things like as close to the wire as possible because that means you can make the most of your cards at all times. Um, this is a great situation to be in, actually. Um, tempted to take the shield. We'll take the shield. And then we know there's no more shield bash. Maybe there is, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and kill that goblin like that. And we'll just take the potion. And at the very least, we, we're not wasting anything. Um, love that there's hammering always at all times, apparently. Um, all right, so we're going to... I think I'm going to tank the goblin. I do. I am tempted to take this potion eyes. Uh, but I don't really have a good place to put it. So maybe I should just use the sword on the goblin. I'm a, I'm a little bit wary of the fact that there's a uh, 23 cards left. I don't want to use all of my best cards right away. Um, hmm. If I use the sword, then that means it's I have a, an extra uh, hand left, so I could then take the coin and the potion. I, okay, we'll use the sword. I I don't like that, but I mean it's it, technically we're not wasting it. Okay, this is this is nice. Uh, we can use the shield up. So I'll go ahead and use the shield and kill the spider. That's going to leave us with three, I think. Uh, that seems like a bad thing. I should have used... Uh, you know what? Let's use... Okay, I'm going to tank the spider. And instead of using the shield, we're going to potionize it. There we go. Oh, except I'm still going to die. No, no, no. We can take the fire, fire lamb. Okay, things are things are kind of dicey right now. Now I think this is actually a good position, so because I, I can use the shield, and then take on the spider. Uh, unfortunately, we can't take on the troll. But I have a contingency for the troll at the very least, so we'll do this. We'll take the spider, and then we'll take the potion. You gotta sometimes you gotta play things one turn at a time. Now, this flail is great. The flail doesn't kill them. It pushed back a dungeon card into the deck. So this, we could use this on the troll. Get rid of the troll. I mean, we they're, they're still in the deck somewhere, but at least we don't have to deal with them. And actually dealing with that money is is valid as well. Um, now we can, this is a good situation as well, because we can use this sword. We get the most out of the sword. We kill the incubus and we can tank the plague. Ah, now, great. Uh, maybe not great, actually. Because the thing is, this... Like, like I say, you never want to be in a situation where the shield isn't getting used up on the monster. So, that's not ideal. I might want to sell the shield. I know that's stupid. You know what? Let's take this potion, and then we'll tank the slime. And then we'll equip the shield. Valid. 
Oh, except we're still in this situation. Um, yeah, and if I use the sword on the slime, it's still, it's still going to. Uh, I wonder if we have that uh, that wonderful card that I, did I already use up the waste the bash? I think I probably did. Would love to get rid of this coin. Um. Yeah, I I don't know. All right, we'll use the sword. I don't like that, but it's fine. We'll use the potion. We're getting the most out of the potion, so that's fine too. We're not going to use up the shield. That's very bad. We still have a sword. That's not bad. Actually, this is great because then we'll be left with one. What is a steal? If your backpack is empty, add the next card from the deck into it. Very strange. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I could equip the sword. The thing is, though, is that... I don't think I want to use it just yet. Um, we're going to take take this on. I guess we'll use we'll, we'll grab the sword. I want to grab the coin for sure cuz that's been sitting there forever. Um, and we'll take the sword. Okay, this is a pretty good situation. I think this is actually a great situation. Uh, well, there's zero cars left on the field. Is there a way to kill this troll without selling without uh, using the sword? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe uh, if we use this, we'll be up to seven. Uh, no, there isn't because then the best we can hope for with using the potion and the sword is that we can hope for an uh, is death. <laughs> um, so um, what we'll do is we're just going to use them. I mean, it's it's like there's no really good way of doing this, so we'll just do, go ahead and do it. I guess, I guess we can tank it now. We'll tank it now, and that way we can sell the potion. Can, we can't sell the sword, right? No, we can't sell the sword. At least we can sell the potion. We get uh, this is not a good score, at all. But uh, hey, at least we get a win, right? Yeah, he's very very upset. Um, yeah, so my best score is 76. There is a there are incentives and rewards for um, Getting over a hundred uh, If we go to our collection, we can see there's there's all, all kinds of things we can unlock So you can see all the cards that I've unlocked and before I started recording I, I did unlock a bunch of abilities hence why I saw abilities that I'd never seen before um, I believe these are all abilities for um the one character them i might be wrong though they might be just like general abilities that everyone can use so if we look at this one uh reflects the damage taken to a random dungeon card so um, we have enough gold we should be able to unlock that now i i haven't really said anything about it yet but um i love the the visual look of this game like the actual style of this game is amazing if i had a nitpick um for a three dollar game um you know I, this is un unfair to have hold this game to any kind of like you know high bar but i do think that the music lets it down a little bit i think that the music is very kind of ho-hum and, and a little bit generic and, and it doesn't really inspire me much um but you know that's that's fine it, it doesn't i don't think it you know it, de it definitely doesn't ruin the experience but i love the art on the card and I love the art of like the the whole aesthetic of this. It's very it's simple, but you know what? It's unique, and uh, I could definitely see uh, a, a more like a more expensive game having this kind of this kind of art style. So it looks like we can do constructed. I, there's a bunch of game modes I haven't actually been able to play yet, but we could do constructed, and that way I learn something new. So choose five cards. Well, I I do like Killing Blow, despite the fact that it is not necessarily very good for me. We'll take a reflect because then I get to try something new. We'll, we'll take bash. I love sacrifice and I love leech and I like I like vanish. So we'll avoid the the problem cards for me. So is this is this just the same mode except um, I get to pick my abilities? We'll take this kill this soul eater. Take the coin. I I think so. Um, ooh, we can kill that shield, destroy that shield right away. And we'll potion back up to 13. That was a ideal use of that potion. Um, kill this goblin, take the vanish. I'm going to be playing a lot quicker now because I think you, uh, I think you get the point. Um, 
and like I, I i really just wanted to cover this game because i want to cover uh card crawl adventures which uh i i have to say you know uh, thank the the dev or the publisher for hooking me up with a key there but um you know like i've i've been we meaning to try this game for a while it's actually been on my radar for a bit but uh, there, there's been so many games recently it's, it's kind of absurd but I, uh, I'm not disappointed at all by this game. I think it's, it's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Now, I wonder if... Can I can I use this, like, halfway through here? I wonder I wonder if I could, like, damage the troll and then use a vanish. Probably a really dumb idea. But I'm going to go ahead and use... Actually, if I take that second coin, then I can't use the vanish. Interesting. Interesting and tricky. All right. Well, let's use the vanish. Oh, I, you know what? I could have put something in my backpack. Oops. It's fine. Those cards aren't wasted. They're just reshuffled back into the uh, pile. We'll go ahead and use the sacrifice on the uh, spider. That's going to kill them right away. And we'll take use the, the low-end potions. I always like to use up the low-end stuff for some like to be valuable um, rather than using up high-end stuff. Oh, this is not a terrible situation to be in because we can at least kill this plague and we get rid of everything on the board. And I can kill the Soul Eater if I use this potion. So let's do that. I, I always like that situation where we're making the absolute most out of our, uh, out, out of our cards. Um, and again, we're in a pretty good position here. Um, I'm just thinking... Um, I don't know. This potion covers the slime. It covers the slime, but I don't know if I like that. Because the thing is... Oh, I guess now we have to use the sword. If I put the potion in my backpack, then we could have used this sword. But I was thinking, like, you know... Oh, you know what? Let's... Okay, let's just kill... Take the slime, and then we'll pocket the sword. And that's actually a pretty good use of our resources. We've got a leech. The leech is not good in this circumstance because uh, the fire lime is only going to provide four health. I think what we want to do is take the potion, use the sword. Not super happy about it, but, you know, reduced damage is still reduced damage. The way I see it is all of the monsters in the entire deck are basically one big pool of damage when you think about it. And all of the cards that are used to reduce that damage is also a pool. And you're just trying to use set one pool up against another in the most ideal and optimal way. And I'm sure that the game is accounted for the fact that there's more cards that help you than ones that reduce your health. And so therefore, they've added this contingency of like, well, you can sell the cards. The players, they're, they're banking on the player being dumb and like, you know, oh, we're going to, I'm going to sell all the cards I don't need, which is just, you know, the cards I don't need in this one moment. But because it's one big pool of cards, you need all of those cards. You need to make use of all of them if you, if you possibly can. So that's why I say like, you know, if I'm using a sword with seven damage, it better do seven damage. If I'm using a sword with two damage, I better, it better do two damage and uh you know tank tank the health like think of it all as like you know you have one pool of health and one um you know you have one pool of health and you have one pool of damage and you're just trying to kind of like balance those two together um now i'm tempted to take this shield but honestly this potion's great right now because that was dumb that was that was silly i shouldn't have done that should i well that's fine we can sell the shield we have a bash. We actually have a bash. Use an equipped shield as a weapon. With each attack, the shield loses one durability. So if we use this, then it does five damage, I assume. And then uh, it becomes a four shield. Not not a terrible uh, ability, I have to say. But the thing is, is I'm not in an ideal situation to take on that stuff, right? We'd have to sell the sword, so already we're in a tenuous situation that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't think I like this bash honestly, because it me really means we have to we lose a lot of flexibility because we have to have both the bash 
do we have to have both the bash and yeah we have to have both the bash and the shield equipped so that means when we're in this situation it's like okay well i have to use the sword so that one extra damage i i really don't play around that one extra damage is gonna mean it's gonna be worthwhile down the road i i guarantee it um so now we can use the bash if we so wish what okay so now we can use that so yeah that did one that did five damage and now it becomes a four shield and um i'll throw the sh the leech in here i might end up sh selling the shield um okay this is a pretty good situation to be in actually i don't hate this situation uh we're gonna go ahead and use the leech that is i mean uh we wasted like one health there and yeah i know i said i don't i don't play around with that but still i think that this is you know there are worse positions to be in than this Get, grab those coins because this is going to be left over ah perfect use of this shield um reflect the damage taken to a random dungeon card how does one use this i wonder So, like, can I use this? Take into a random dungeon card. So, ideally, for this card to be useful, we would want a second monster on the field. Is that what I'm getting here? There's a lot of annoying cards on the field. We're going to sell that potion. Take the coins and um, put the shield in our hand. Okay, so there's a second troll. So, how do we... Okay, we're going to do this reflect and then this should work should kill the troll yeah oh and we don't take any damage on that okay okay interesting i thought that we would take the damage but we would still reflect some of it back all right um that's really cool actually uh all right we're gonna use this shield to kill that troll yeah let's do it i was thinking i'd like to get rid of those coins as well oh we're actually done we are actually done uh in that case let's sell that sword it's a bit of extra money i i still haven't cracked 100 i have to assume that if you can crack 100 there must be enough of like resources to mitigate all uh, all of the damage plus enough to make 100 so i you know i have to imagine i have to hope that the game is well balanced for that um but you know i don't know uh i can only theorize right um you know this, i think what i enjoy about this game is i actually like to think about how it was designed because it, it is quite a clever game and there is um, enough strategy here to really enjoy it but like uh it's also simple enough that i could actually kind of try and put my myself in the in the uh, in the mind of the, of the developer. Like, how would I go about designing a game like this? But either, either way, Card Crawl, um, I, I actually really like this. And I mean, at $3, I can't not recommend this game. It's There's enough strategy here um, that it works. One, I will say one criticism, one, one little nitpick. It doesn't work on the deck. That is to say, it doesn't work well on the deck. I, my, my bar has become quite high for specifically card games that work on the deck. And I found that this game I had to use like mouse cursor, um, which I can do with a PS4 controller. But I, I think at this point, um, just like, I, I think it's just overall, uh, it benefits the developer every time to put in like proper controller support. Um, not just because it means that, uh, you know, someone can play with a controller if they want to, but it also means that more often than not, your game is gonna work well on the deck. Uh, there's probably um, extra things that they have to do, obviously, but I found that the game worked well, except for the fact that there's not very good controller support. So if I had a nitpick on a $3 game, and I mean, honestly, I think they could have charged more for this game, uh, that would be it. But either way, Card Crawl, have you played it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.